G'day, here we are. We're uh, gonna do some bunker work. We're gonna show one that spins a little bit more and one that's gonna come out and run on a little bit more. So I yep. was gonna show you because uh, I've got no idea. Well, actually, you, you play bunker shots pretty well. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, I got my 58 degree here, which I use in my sand wedge. Yeah. Um, again, like most shots in the short game, you like all really, you actually want to use the bounce, which is this edge here, the trailing edge, um, a little bit more than the leading edge. You start using that, it wants to dig a lot more. So uh, basically, you can use that to a chunk and run. Yep. So the first shot I'm going to show, which is a little bit more of a, a, of a running shot, which is basically hitting it heavy out of the sand. The sand will push the ball out, it'll run on, it won't have as much spin. So I'll show you that now. It'll be slightly open face still, using the bounce, but hitting, you know, thereabouts an inch and a half or thereabouts behind the ball. So I'll play that one. So it's probably gonna run on, or it's definitely gonna run on a little bit more. So that's a decent little shot. It's running on a tad. I feel like that was a decent shot. I'll probably hit a little bit closer yep than I wanted to the, the ball. Yep. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of a mark there, slightly toe-sided, where the, I suppose, the ball has hit the sand on the face. Yep. Uh, now I'm gonna try to hit a shot with a little bit closer to the ball. So you're almost catching it really clean. So from a bunker shot point of view, you wanna be very shallow. You wanna use the bounce, you wanna be very shallow. So you can probably see there that I've taken a bit of a divot there. I wanna take less, so I wanna be more sweeping if I can. So a little bit less sand, a little bit more bounce used. Definitely don't have the face shut, certainly have it a little bit more open and try to be as shallow as possible and hit a little bit closer to the ball. That got caught up in the fringe a little bit more, um, but you'll see I, I have hit a couple beforehand and, uh, and you can see it grab a little bit more than what that did. So I've hit yep. them two very, very similar. Yep. They both turned out. I'll take them both as, as a bunker shot, but no, a good shot to <laughs> from an illustration point of view, you'd like to get a little bit closer to the ball to spin it a little bit more because you're actually getting grooves on the ball, yep. not sand, ball and everything all muddled up and it just kind of popping out. So yeah. uh, as you can see from the slow-mos and some of the other shots there, um, yeah, you just need to get a little bit closer to the ball, spin the ball a lot more, actually the ball hits the face and not just the sand. Beautiful. There you go guys, so there's a couple of different ways of playing a bunker shot. It's probably a little bit easier to play the heavier one for it to run on. You just might need a little bit more speed. Cool. So that's uh, good, nice and close to the green. Yep. Some good ideas. Yep. Maybe next time we might show some uh, fairway bunker shots. Longer bunker shots, shots my, my nemesis. Yeah, no, it's a little bit harder. Yeah. So the longer the shot's always a little bit harder because you've basically got to get closer to the ball. Yeah. Or you take more club, faster swing, hit it just as heavy, and it's going to move faster and it's going to run on more. We might do a couple of those one day. Absolutely. Thanks guys for checking the video, like, share, subscribe, comment down below on any more instructional you want to see, yeah, yeah. and uh, hopefully that helps your game. Beautiful. Cheers. Good golf.